Hey guys, this is Jay. I figured I'd just take you through the process of making sodium silicate. I know plenty of people have done done videos on it through how they make it and everything, but uh, basically I got a little stainless steel lined aluminum pot that I bought at a thrift sale for, for I think it was like two bucks. I got a stainless steel spatula that I bought for a dollar at a thrift store. Uh, I put 1,000 milliliters of distilled water in there. And I already got my measurements out for my sodium hydroxide. I got 400 milligrams, I mean not 400 milligrams, 400 grams already measured out in this container. And then I have two containers here, one with 200 grams and one with 400 grams of silicate. So here we go as I'm fi fixing to mix this up. I'm going to just dump a little bit in and then stir it. I don't have that great of a setup here where I'm just going to dump a little bit in, kind of keep it evenly spread out because I don't want it to kind of all stick together so I'm going to let this a little bit dissolve in the distilled water. Mix it up. It'll start, after a little while, it'll start reacting. I'm putting in such a small quantity of lye in there, you're not going to see much of a reaction as of yet. But it'll still give off a pretty good amount of heat. As you can see, the sodium hydroxide has already started to dissolve. I'll add a little bit more in. And the key is to just take your time on this. You don't want it clumping up too much. It's even more or less so with the, with the silicate gel. Because if you just dump it in there in one shot, it's going to take it forever to dissolve. Now, now this is emitting a fume that you do not want to inhale. If you inhale it, you're going to have a really rough day. So I suggest if you're going, if you do have a hood vent for like a, not like a range hood off of your stove, but a hood vent for like a lab, lab chemistry lab setup. I suggest using that if you're going to do it inside. Otherwise. Set up on a grill or a little camp stove or anything like that because you don't want these fumes in your house. Alright, so now that's, that's halfway decently dissolved. I'm going to add some more. Kind of spreading it all over. Now if you dump it all in once, it'll just kind of form a big old chunk, it'll get harden up together, bond to itself, kind of kind of be like an ice chunk. It's what it kind of reminds me of whenever it, it bonds together and gets nice and solid and you kind of have to break it into pieces in order to get it to dissolve properly. So I know this might take a while, but Once it's decently dissolved, then you can add some more. And as I said, take your time with it. Don't get too impatient with this, because you just, you want this to act. You want a decent adhesive out of it, and it's not going to work too well if you have just a bunch of solids in there rather than one. A good dissolve.
Now well, I'm just about through all the lye now. One more pour and I should have all the lye, lye poured in and then I'll just take my time mixing in the silicate. And you probably can see the, the fumes coming off. It's still kind of cloudy. I'll wait till it clears up a little more before I dump some more in. In a little bit, I'll have to be turning the gas on on my grill and then kicking up the heat once I got the silica worked in pretty good. All right, that's all the lie. And try not to splash it on yourself. It's not pleasant. Lye is highly caustic, so you don't want to get it on your skin. You don't really want it getting on your clothes either. I'm just one of those oddball people that like never wear their gloves in experiments hardly ever. Well, hence I'd be extra careful. It halfway decently dissolved in there. I'm just going to add some silicate just around the edges. You can hear it sizzling. Stir it in. Now you can notice the silicate I got. It's got some blue dye in it and it'll take on the same color as a latch batch did. Just work it till that silicate's dissolved. I'm trying to stand back because this is giving off a whole bunch of extra fumes now that I got the silicate in there. second. I'm gonna go down and turn on the gas. Take on the burners. Alright, so this is my junk gas grill. So, I don't really care. I get any lye or anything spilt on it, so I've gotten a few spots where I've spilled some silicate on. 